people of Shanghai over there to our southeast. And we've got plenty of that here on the grid as well. 20,000 horsepower, give or take, chomping at the bit to be unleashed for the Chinese Grand Prix. Joining me once again to take you through this race is the effervescent Anthony Davidson. And I'm very much looking forward to it getting underway. You raced here, of course, didn't you, back in your Super Aguri days in that infamous Chinese Grand Prix of 2007? Yeah, that's right. I didn't last that long, though, unfortunately. Uh, qualifying had gone pretty well, but my brakes failed quite early in the race, around lap 10 or 11, something like that. And, of course, back in 2004, I was the very first Formula 1 driver to complete a lap of this circuit. Just thought I'd mention that for you, Crofty, like a good stat. Uh, it's a fairly tough circuit on the brakes here, though. You know, it's that long back straight down into turn 14, and then you've got turn 6 and 11. They're quite heavy as well. On top of that, managing your front tyre wear is always a challenge around here, so there's a lot to keep in mind during the Grand Prix. So before the off, let's remind ourselves of yesterday's qualifying session with a look at the starting grid. Kimi Raikkonen starts today from pole position, and Lewis Hamilton completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Ricardo, Verstappen, Sebastian Vettel, and Hülkenberg, Bottas, Skip, Magnussen, and Roman Grosjean, Alonso, Ocon, Pierre Gasly and Hartley, Van Dorn, Sainz, Sergio Perez and Lance Stroll, Ericsson and Sergei Sorotkin rounds off the grid. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track.
brilliant stuff from Mercedes today. That's another historic win. And Anthony Davidson, give me your thoughts. How did they accomplish this result? Well, I think the track conditions just really suited their car today. Wind, track temperature, you name it. These cars come alive when the tyres are just at the right temperature. So the more easily you can keep them there, the better your race tends to go. And that's exactly what happened. Their car just looks so comfortable out there. So as I say that, we can see the drivers coming out now to collect their trophies. It's yet more silverware to take back to their base in Brackley after another excellent Grand Prix. So then, it's time to see how this result affects the Drivers' Championship. It wasn't the best weekend for our championship leader, and their advantage at the top has been reduced. Moving on to the driver of the day then, Anthony Davidson, who would you go for? Well, I think it has to be Fernando Alonso. He got the strategy spot on and consistently had the pace to come through as well.